I bet you can't tell me what these are called. Okay, I actually expected everyone to get that one. I, I knew you probably knew what it was called, but I've got a harder one. Do you know what this is? Now, unless you've been in roofing, you've probably never seen one of these because that's what this realistically is made for. It's for measuring plumb on rafters and then of course finding seat angles. I mean, that's, that's what this is going to be used for. But I have one and I have a couple uses around the shop that I use it for even though I'm not making roofs. I mean, I guess I made a birdhouse once. Does that count? One of the uses that I have found that I've used this for multiple times in my shop at home is in essence doing what a roofer does, but finding a specific angle and locking that in so that I can then mark that out directly onto the wood. Now, before you all come after me, I do understand that you can also do that with a speed square by using that pivot point and finding the angle. But with this, if you do have to make that cut a lot of times, you're gonna have to come down and find that angle. Even if you're moving, you're gonna have to find that angle. It may move on you. There's nothing that's locking it into place. Where with this one, if I wanna have this 50 degree angle, it's locked in when you tighten this down and you can just put that up, make that mark. You can slide it down, make that mark again. And then you can move it to a different piece if you wanted to, like something up here and make that same 50 degree mark that you made on all of your other pieces and you know it's gonna be the same on each one of them. So that's what I mostly use this for, especially as I'm trying to get into more kind of different geometries in my work. Uh, this has come in handy a lot of different times. So this has been a really cool tool that I've had around the shop. I don't use it all the time, but in those instances where uh, I do need to make a cut or something like that, this is just a cool, fun tool to have around. So if you found some use out of this or you're gonna be making rafters soon and you could use a tool like this, then there is a link down here that you can go to and purchase one for yourself.